All right, if I can have a moment of silence for our dear departed friend, Tyler. How long of a moment does Tyler really play? Not much. Greetings and welcome to the Computer Studies Podcast. I'm your host, Stephen Elliott, the department chair of the Computer Studies program. And with me tonight, I have two esteemed students. I'm Jared Braun. I'm a freshman in the computer science major. I'm Jersey. I'm the networking security track for computer information systems, and I am a senior. All right. Well, welcome, guys. Thank you for joining us. If all goes well, you'll be watching this the week of Thanksgiving. So, uh, happy Thanksgiving to all of you guys out there. And I figured we'd talk about Thanksgiving a little bit tonight. With Thanksgiving, I gotta ask, are you guys from the traditional American family? Turkey, mashed potatoes? Yeah. Pretty much? Pretty yeah. much? Cool. Do you guys have any foods that define Thanksgiving for you? Like, when you think Thanksgiving, there's the food that you think of. The normal ones. The yeah. normal ones? Mm -hmm. What are the normal ones, Jersey? Turkey, stuffing. Mashed potatoes, that green bean thing no one eats that mom makes. The what thing? The green bean thing, you know, it's, just, it's, oh. it's, it's like it has that weird other stuff in it, and it has those string crunchy things on top. Yes, like we had at yeah. Thanksgiving. Yeah, it's grown on me now okay. that like I have to be at Emmaus, and I have to be less picky. So my grandparents had a vegetable garden, and so growing up, the green beans were always from grandpa's oh, garden. There you go. And I, I have to envy one of my cousins. He finally figured out the secret. Mm. to the green beans okay here's the secret to the green was it beans. love uh, no no so it wasn't so much to make the green beans uh -huh. good grandma would always come in holding the green bean casserole and say everybody you better appreciate these because grandpa grew them in his garden and my cousin sam I'm gonna out him he would take the green beans he would go wow grandpa these green beans look good <laughs> and then he'd do the subtle pass and because he said the words verbally, all of the adults who were like trying to keep the kids out of the conversation were like, oh, yeah, yeah, Sam's eating his green beans. He's doing a good job. You know, and it was just a subtle pass, and then he didn't have to eat the green beans. So, man, he got away with that, I think, for two years before they were like, hey, wait a second. There's no green beans on your plate. So, yeah. <laughs> Clever. Anyway, traditional meal turkey, mashed potatoes, green beans. Occasionally, there'll be the oddball salmon or lasagna. Salmon or lasagna? Yeah, now, tell me right. about this. When did this come up? I don't remember. I remember we've had them. I cannot remember when. Okay. Or we've had them at different times at the same time. I just remember and so there being salmon and lasagna at one point. In addition to the, the yeah. standard fare? Interesting. Yeah, yeah. Interesting. So I was going to ask, because I, I don't like turkey. I am not mm -hmm. a fan of turkey at all. Uh, I'll eat it, but it's just it's not my favorite thing. So I've always wondered, why don't we just do like steak instead of turkey? I think that that would be a really good idea. What do you guys think? I like I'm not steak. opposed. <laughs> not opposed to steak. <laughs> do you think it would no. fly? Could you could you propose that at family Thanksgiving this year? Be like, guys, next year, no turkey. We're just doing steak. I mean, you do always run into the problems where you never defraud the defraud thawed thawed, thawed. thawed the Defrost turkey enough. Or <laughs> whatever. Yeah. I mean, and we had that one year where we didn't thaw it enough, and it was frozen. Still, we don't like microwave it. So I guess like people are used to cooking steaks more than turkey, but it's turkey. I don't know. I, I like the turkey. Okay. Especially those giant it's turkey tradition. legs. And... It's tradition. <laughs> no. Jared, I don't, what do you think? I don't like turkey very much. Okay. I think it's the worst of all the birds. I don't know. All if I the call birds. It the worst of all. all the birds. I, I've I mean, only that's had. A little harsh. That's but... comparing it to chicken only. <laughs> <laughs> Chicken, turkey, yeah, turkey's fine. <laughs> yeah. There's more dark meat on a turkey, so I'll give it That's credit true. for that. I do mm -hmm. like turkey dark meat. Yeah. Yeah. So the steak, you think your family would fly with steak? Yeah. The only thing is like the extra cost, but well, you know, it'd be, it'd be better. What's a few hundred dollars between friends? Exactly. A few hundred dollars. Yes. <laughs> Sounds good. What would you guys replace main meal with? If we had to do away with the turkey, let's say turkeys are extinct. We've got to do away with the turkey. What would you guys want to be the main meal? I do Tofu. Ham. Tofu turkey. Tofu turkey. Don't, get just out. kidding. Just get just out. Kidding. <laughs> <laughs> ham. Yeah. I like ham idea. That, ham. that one, is that a Christmas tradition for you guys too? Like, do you guys do ham for... Usually uh, we do another turkey. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I um, don't remember. We replaced, we've done, we've done like replaced the turkey with ham at Thanksgiving. And I'm a big ham fan, so okay. I'll be in favor for that. Yeah. yeah. We do ham at Easter, which is somewhat interesting given the Jewish connection to Easter. But, you know, <laughs> we, we do ham for Easter. That's true. I never thought about that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I guess you argue 
I mean, we're no longer under the law. No, we're not. So you don't, we don't really true. have to. It's true. That whatever I mean, he has called clean, don't call unclean. Yeah, there you go. And we're Gentiles, so we can eat pigs. Mm, it's true. All right, cool. So uh, Thanksgiving. So do you guys have any non-food uh, Thanksgiving traditions? For example, my in-laws always go and play football in a field. None Too of cold. them like football. They, they don't really, you know. You, don't, you never seem with a big sports family. Well, this is my in-laws. So oh, they're, they're heavy true. into baseball. And, I mean, Joby plays rugby. That's, that's so a pretty that physical is, sport. It's not bad. But I don't think any of them played football. But we always go and we play touch, two-hand touch football. What do you guys do, if anything? Or we just kind of go crazy. Like, never know what's going on. Like, until right before it. Okay. So yeah. that's kind of our thing. Yeah. Because we panic. <laughs> Panic. Panic is a good good party technique. <laughs> Neat. Jersey we would, is... uh, my mom would make these cut out leaf things and we would stick them on the glass sliding door. Sometimes they get out earlier than other times because mom's busy and, you know, they wouldn't get up to like, unless we be right up at the beginning of November, sometimes they're not up to like two weeks before. It really depends. Mm. But we've done so much, it dissolves into joking. Like, I'm thankful for TV remotes or, you know, sleeping <laughs> in on the weekend. or Yeah. yeah. So Not, you, very rarely is it serious okay. at this point. Yeah. Did you guys go to the Thanksgiving dinner? Yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. Um, did you guys fill out any of the leaves? No. Okay. They have a nice little thankfulness tree, and they had leaves that you could fill out what you're thankful for and then put them on the tree. Do you guys know what I put on there? You guys do know because yeah. I told you guys about half an hour ago. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. You I forgot already. It's a name, but I don't know it. <laughs> Dan Round. I'm thankful for Dan Round. So put that on a leaf. But why? Well, you know, I am thankful for Dan. But like, why? Wait, which one? Do, do you Dan? want me to elaborate on what I mean, one's Dan? That I know which one. I know which one is Dan. But like, why? Right. Why I Dan? Knew your name was Dan. I just didn't know you your know, last name was Round. Out of all the students, why Dan? Why Dan Round? Yeah. Uh, because it was six letters. Mm-hmm. So Dan and then Round. It, it fits nicely mm-hmm. on the leaf. But he answers questions in class. You know, so I appreciate that. That's not fair. I'm gonna, I'm gonna That's true. Classes. Like you can put error codes, also six letters, but error code doesn't do it. Wait, is error code seven? <laughs> oh no! I mean, is there two C's or is there one C? There's two. Is E C error? <laughs> I have it on my phone. Hey, we, need a, we need a computer science major who's better at math than us. How many How many letters are in error code? I'm looking it up. Error. Our audience is writing it on the board for us. No, no, I'm gonna know. get it first. Josh oh, it's two R's. Two R's, one C. I knew there were two letters of something. Uh, Dan Rao <laughs> has spelled it E R R I C K H O E. Erico. Erico. Daniel Erico. Pronunciation, which would fit with his heritage quite well. So, <laughs> obviously, wouldn't fit on the leaf. <laughs> Dan Rao fit much better. <laughs> You can put anything on the leaf if you try hard enough. <laughs> really? <That's> true. <laughs> if I try hard enough, I'll remember that for next year. Awesome. Okay, guys, let's wrap this up real quick. What are you guys thankful for this year? I'm thankful for my parents, like, paying for college, so I don't have to worry about it, which is very nice. That's huge. That's huge. So. My parents also pay for college. I think they really undersold how much money they had somehow, because they were like, oh, don't worry, we have the semester. I'm like, oh, is there, like, a money tree in the back that I don't know about? <laughs> So can you get me a car? Loan? Yeah, I, I'm like, this, I've never seen. I mowed that lawn. I don't know where it is. Is it, are they hiding it underground? I don't. Do, do they have some pass as Bonnie and Clyde? Yeah, I don't know. Money for college. It's hitting me as a dad of four kids. That yeah, there's twelve years from now, my oldest will turn eighteen and head off to college, and that begins a period of about eight years of me having absolutely no money because going to school so buy all the guns now uh, that is my philosophy Mm. um my wife caught on though so no more guns (laughs) no i'm trying to be fiscally responsible i've also been reminded by a particular 10 year old that goes to our church that i'm going to have to pay for lots of weddings oh yeah so i I have four girls so obviously i'm going to have lots of weddings to pay for and it's hilarious this 10 year old this is her one thing that she can tell my wife and i every sunday morning she comes up, like, do you guys know that you're going to have to pay for lots of weddings? Yes. Is a 10-year-old saying this? This is a 10-year-old. I think she's 10. I wasn't thinking like that when I was 10. Not me either. <laughs> oh, I'm pretty sure 10 was all about fishing and Lego sets. So. Oh, Lego sets, were they, all, were, they were awesome. I'm thankful for Lego sets. All right, so you're thankful for your parents paying for yeah. college. Jersey, what are you thankful for? In addition to college, thanks, Mom and Dad. Uh, I'm also thankful that this year was strictly better than last year. Okay. 2016 was not a hard act to... Uh, 
be better then. <laughs> no, but no, I mean, like, I mean, 2017, is, we've had our what the heck's going on moments. <laughs> I think on the whole, for me personally, we, we're, we're moving in the right direction, but I don't want to, I don't want to speak too soon. Getting better. You know, it's going to be hilarious when like December 21st of this year is the next Black Tuesday and like everything explodes and it's like, we were so close, so close to getting out of 2017. Why couldn't you have waited till 20? I think 2016 was more just like straight up just awful and like confused. Everyone was like, most people I knew, like, no one, like, the world did not have a good 2016. America <laughs> didn't have a good 2016. None of my friends had a good 2016. Like, it's gotten better, but like, people are still like, Disney. I think we're getting used to the crazy. Yeah. But I don't think that's good. I think Disney had a good 2016. Oh, well, sure. They, they Force Awakens Disney. and Rogue One, lots of sales there. Don't, anyway. Isn't, doesn't. The last Jedi come out before the end of the year? Yes, it does. See the movie? There we go. There we Could go. be even better. All right. Well, uh, I was thinking, we've got to wrap this up here, but I guess I should tell you guys what I was thankful for. I was thinking before this podcast about what I'm really thankful for. And being the father of four kids, um, two of which who are still in diapers, I'm really thankful for disposable diapers mm. and wipes. <laughs> it was uh, when Justin and Sarah had Calvin Edwards. Yeah. Uh, James and I went to Sam's Club to get... Uh, some diapers for them as a gift, but James and I have never had children, obviously, and <laughs> thus never had to buy diapers. So we were here's two single guys just in Sam's Club trying to figure out which, which diapers to get. Do we get the <laughs> do we get one based off weight or age or what and Good size what six. brand? The brand that that too. We were so important. confused. We just left. <laughs> <laughs> so here's your rule of thumb for you guys and for everybody out there who does not have kids. If you're buying diapers for somebody who's either just had a baby or soon to have a baby, size one and two, fairly safe to get them size one and two. Unless they have really, really, really big kids. Then I don't know what to tell you. What, what, what are your approved brands? Well, so uh, that's a good question. My wife and I use, oh boy, Pampers. Mm-hmm. I hope that's what we use. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to watch this later and be like, you moron, it was Huggies. Uh, I'm pretty sure we use Pampers. Pampers Swaddlers. Yeah. Because the youngest is in size two, and the second to youngest is in size four. So if you guys want to buy me diapers, feel free. Um, I'm open to anything size three, size four. Sounds great. Mm. <laughs> awesome. Well, let's go ahead and wrap this up since we're at about time. Thank you guys for joining me this evening. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.